Today, we get to serve some of the most powerful brands in travel. We speak the same language because we understand the business at hand. Where we started was bringing excellence in the custom software development space, which was really core around just developing solutions that were more or less already defined. I met uh, DataArt in 2004 when I went through a really rigorous uh, RFP process to find what I was looking for was the best software development firm. And I shortlisted it to the top four, and I put them to a test, and I hired the top two. DataArt was one of those two. I had an engineering team uh, upwards of uh, 30, 35 people working for me for four or five years, and I really, I was enamored with the quality of the the product that came out of data art. And it wasn't just the product, but the culture itself um, demanded that they ask why something was designed in a particular way. They wanted to understand the reason why that service was going to operationalize itself in a particular way. They wanted to understand why the business um, would approach the system that we were working on in a particular way. That inquisitive nature leads to better software development because the people building the system can understand what the end users are going to be working with. Having had that experience, when I finished that project in Europe and came back to the US, DataArt approached me about helping them form a travel and hospitality vertical specialized in bringing solutions to that sector. Here we are nearly eight years later, having worked with you know, brands across the globe, some of the most powerful brands in travel, helping them build better products, bring more quality to the market um, in order to help them deliver services that they never thought they could deliver before, enriching their processes, helping them ship more products faster to the market. When they're looking at launching out into new technical domains to try those domains, not only do we understand the core of their business and what the underlying systems that have supported that business for decades, but we understand the newer technology and we can break the bits down and try to work with them on smaller projects that allow them to take on some of the new services that are out there in the market. The set of services that we, that we offer really started in and around the development process. But we found occasionally that customers hadn't completely validated what needed to be built. And so we started to offer a service on the front end which helps design the actual solution. We found that in doing that and helping customers really think through and validate how they're bringing solutions to the market, we not only understood the end users better, we understood what our customers wanted better, and we were, we were actually delivering better value when it came down to the development of the solution because we weren't wasting time and money to be able to produce something that wasn't going to be quality and wasn't going to be what the end users wanted to have. That service in itself led us to realize that we have uh, a lot of expertise because we've worked across different verticals, not just travel and hospitality. We see financial services, we see healthcare and life sciences. We see a lot of problems that, are, that other companies have faced and we can bring that know-how to keep our clients from falling in those same pitfalls. That's invaluable. We get knitted in with our customers in terms of the product design and development. And so we can offer that product management expertise or oftentimes our clients have that naturally. And what we can do is offer the technology component either integrated with their own technology team or as an extension of that particular team supporting that product feature, that product development, that product management process. So we watched users adopt that new product and we watched the company smile as they saw something get shipped in a tenth of the time maybe that it could have been through normal channels of the business. Running a business is a lot. Business as usual, it takes a lot of energy and effort and companies have these innovative ideas but they actually have a really tough time executing on them. And it's not because um, they don't have the uh, great resources that could do it. It's simply because maybe the, com the companies faced challenges of politicization within delivery and it, it can't break itself apart really easily and, and look at um, um, you know, taking some of these bets on. And that's what we can help companies do. I call it bets because it's a kind of a unique service which uh, allows a company to 
have uh, an investment in its best highest use case for new products or services that it wants to bring to the market. But when you're talking about innovating on new ideas, being able to bring together a small agile team to capitalize on those bets is actually really tough to execute on. And because we've done it for so many customers across not only our domain, but different verticals, we've got a lot of experience helping companies refine the ideas so they don't waste time and money executing on something that's simply the wrong idea. We help validate those ideas with the end users. We help drive decision making and consensus through the organization. That's one of the, the main reasons why IT projects fail. You know, it's not because um, they don't have great technologists and the right processes in place. It's they simply fail from lack of management, communication, um, lack of organizational processes, not the actual technology solution itself. So we help companies attack that problem and remove that pain and de-risk the project so that they don't waste time and money building something that simply doesn't work.